I had the absolute pleasure of talking to a husband last night uh, whose wife went through my program, 30 Days to Wanting It More. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about our conversation. I won't mention names, of course, and share why a lot of the husbands of the program participants hate me in the beginning. So here's kind of the cycle that they go through. First off, they hear from their wife that there is, in fact, a program called 30 Days to Wanting It More, and they get really excited. They're like, um, that sounds pretty awesome. And a lot of them will say, go ahead, go for it. I'm super excited. Some of them will not have such a great reaction, and that's because it's triggering their fear of, of failing and not doing a good job in the bedroom, which is linked to their masculinity. I could do a whole nother Facebook Live on that topic. But then what I do is in the first week, right off the bat, I ask them to take a three-week break from sex, which is not what the men were expecting. They were expecting more sex. And the reason why husbands hate me or they hate what they're going through isn't because they're jerks, isn't because they want to force their wife to have sex with them, isn't because all the reasons that a lot of you might be thinking. It's because this, and this was straight from his mouth. I wrote it down because it was brilliant that physical connection tells me that we're good. So that's what he was saying. So that husbands, men feel like if they're having connection, it means that their marriage is good, that you're doing okay. It's so much like if we have good conversation with our spouse and we get that good connected feeling like we're on the same team, we're excited about something common, and then we can feel like we're doing good. Everything is really um uh, I'm doing good, he's doing good, our future is secure. And if we didn't have that, it would feel so super devastating. What I try to convince the husbands, and um, this gentleman did eventually believe me because he saw the results, but that this is a short-term sacrifice for a long-term experience so much better than he's ever experienced before because a lot of times that feeling of we're good, our marriage is okay, is kind of built on some false premises that their their understanding is not so accurate about what's actually going on with their wives because I find a lot of wives don't necessarily tell their husbands the full truth of their experience of sexuality and their feeling of obligation and expectation and pressure and feeling like they just have to push themselves to do it because they know it's their husband's love language, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they are under some false understanding about their wife's participation. So they also hate me because <laughs> I actually have their wives to start talking about the true reality of what's going on. And, you know, in fact, what doesn't really feel good and what does feel good and how they've been feeling maybe a bit used or objectified a lot of it coming from the culture not necessarily stemming from their husbands but just the crazy mess that we live in so that's why husbands hate me <laughs> initially is because they come into a program which is apparently all about wanting more sex and then I ask them to take a break. And during that break, I get women and men to do, well, the program is for women. I have a little bit of education for the men, but generally speaking for the women, they have some really important work to do. And so they need that time and need that space, that mental clarity in order to do the work that they need to do and I give them really specific instructions and then on week four I give them a new model of sexuality that they can feel comfortable with and that they can move forward with after the program is done and really learn a lot more so it was so great to talk to this guy he was so lovely and it was really interesting to hear the behind the scenes because this is kind of a self-guided program so I don't normally get to talk to all the guys behind the scenes and for him to describe that feeling of complete and utter, utter devastation of feeling like um, well maybe my wife doesn't um, think 
we're good <laughs> and maybe our marriage isn't good, which is so risky and scary. But then slowly working his way back up and doing his own work and reflection in the process. And now I am happy to report that he's saying that they're doing so much better than when they started the program. And he's in fact getting a lot more feedback that they are good and their marriage is rock solid. And at the same time, his wife is really enjoying it and looking forward to it. Um, so that's why husbands hate me initially. But then my hope is at the end of it, they will love me. I'll talk to you guys later.